So, Mr. President, you are welcome, sir. Thank you so much. On this note, please permit me to call on Mr. President to address us. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. AAC. Action. Action. This is where you say action, you say no going back. No going back. Uh, thank you very much. This is not supposed to be an official visit to Ondo Town. When we want to come to Ondo Town, we want the whole kingdom to know that we are here. I came to Akure yesterday and I said, let me just pass through this place because we have heard that you are doing fantastic work in Ondo Town. So there's no way I will pass without saying hello to our members here. We are very, very lucky that we formed a party three months ago in Nigeria. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria that a party that is only three months old becomes one of the most popular parties in the country. Not only are we the most popular party, we are the most feared party right now in Nigeria. Everybody is afraid of uh, AAC in a good way. We are not a violent party, but uh, they are afraid of our ideas that uh, 
if these guys don't have ideas, how is it that they produce some of the strongest candidates that are challenging people who have been doing politics for 50 years? Uh, and you can see our face, we are a very great group of uh, people who are determined to change the destiny of our country. Because this country has been in the hands of wayward people for a long time. And uh, the good people cannot be serving a few bad people. It's not possible. What I have said, and I will repeat everywhere I go, is that Nigeria is divided into assets and liabilities. Only 1% of the people of Nigeria are in control of Nigeria assets. 99% is sharing the liabilities. When it is time to enjoy, only the 1% of our people enjoy the country. Good electricity, they have security, they send their children to the best schools, they drink the best water, they travel with the best cars, even though they forget to construct the roads upon which to drive them. But when it comes to the liabilities of sickness, of poverty, of diseases, it goes to the rest of us. And this time, we must change it by sharing and allocating the resources of the country equitably so that everybody, whether you are a child of somebody or a child of nobody, you must have a share in Nigeria. Just as we are sharing in the suffering, we must also share in the benefits and the goodness of Nigeria. And I want you all to prepare for it. Something is going to happen this year. It's already started happening, and it's going to happen next year. It's already started happening now. You notice that some of the old people, they are dropping dead one after the other. Because some of them are refused to leave Nigeria alone. Nigeria is going to leave them alone. That's true. But we also have very, very great responsibilities, and this goes to all our candidates. We don't want candidates who will win election and then they go back to where we used to be before. You go to the house and you are behaving the same way the people that we are dethroning are behaving. Or that you don't have the loyalty that is good enough that the moment you win the election you go and join another party. You forget the party that brought you into. I had this conversation and I'm saying it in front of you with Pastor Adi Adini. I said I know where you are coming from. You are from uh, Mimiko's side. Yes. But you must purge yourself of Mimiko's uh, behavior and ideas. I'm from Mondo State too. I fought Mimiko with trial reporters for eight years. That's why they couldn't impose the Jegede. Because Mimiko did not do right by our people. Mimiko is one of the people who should have been the best governor of this state. He has knowledge, but all the knowledge he has, he uses it for 419. Mimiko can betray anybody. I'm saying it in no town, you know, and I've said it to him before that what killed him is that he thinks that everybody is a fool when they are next to him. And I wonder there are any that if you win this election, don't think that if you turn your back on the people that made you to win, who suffer for you, the same fate that befell Mimiko will befall you. I told you. in Lagos and uh, I want you all to continue to do the spreading of the message the gospel, uh, the gospel. Yeah. I'm uh, coming from NTA today in Akure we did a recorded program and they were asking what are we going to do about vote by uh, I said something that uh, there is a biblical uh, story that tells the story of vote buying and it's the story of uh, Cain and Abel where somebody sold his bad rights. What people don't say very much about that story is that there was a transaction that happened. Somebody sold and somebody bought. If the person who was selling hadn't sold, nobody would have been able to buy. So for somebody to buy your vote, you must be willing to sell your vote. But the moment you sell your vote, you have taken the position of Cain. You have sold your bath rights. You have sold your schools. You have sold your hospitals. You have sold your roads. 
you have sold your future. Period. There's not and there's no way to retrieve it back because you have engaged in a transaction in a transaction that has mortgaged your interests. You can never retrieve it back. Twenty years from now, anybody that sold their boat, they can't retrieve it back. Because each time politicians get the chance to destroy four years of your life, it takes you 20 years to recover from it. Why? Four years is what it takes to finish a university degree. And after you get the university degree, how long do you work for? You work for 35 years. So if you vote for a governor that prevents you from going to university, it's going to take you 35 years to recover. This is the mathematics that is out there that a lot of people are not doing. Yes. So it's very, very important that we spread the message because people are going to be telling you your candidate cannot win, even if it's a good candidate. That's what people are saying in, our, in this that a good person cannot win in this country anymore. Have we given up on the country completely? When you are saying that, you are also saying that you don't want to live in a good country. It's as simple as that. Because if you want to live in a country, even if a good candidate is inside the well, you will go and look for the candidate, bring him out, and let him represent you. So that's the only way the future of your children can be guaranteed. We are living in Ondo State here, where Ajasi was governor. Most of us who are in my age range, if not for Ajasi, we will never have gone to school. But the man did not build a mansion. I remember when he was dying, we went to his house in a war. He carried a lantern because he didn't have electricity in the house. But he died a happy man, even though he was not surrounded by any wealth. And that's the way we should uh, look at this next battle. This is a fight of our lifetime. And anybody who is engaging in this election, who is participating in this election, is engaging in a historical fight. And when you want to fight the fight of your lifetime, you cannot entrust the battle line to armed robbers, like Atiku, or an old, tired man, lifeless president, <laughs> like Buhari. You are not going to get anything from it. With due respect, ladies and gentlemen, the best Nigeria they can offer you is what you have now. They don't have any more ideas to offer you, even if you reward them with another 20 years in office. They cannot, you know, they say you cannot give people what you don't have. You know, the Yoruba say that uh, anybody that's your funyo, they will not allow. You know, I will lay here like this at the I the gun only for you. There's nothing else they can offer us, even if they want to. They have nothing else to offer. But those of us who have something to offer, we must fight very strongly to make sure that we present our best 11. That's why we are choosing you to represent us at the, at the State House of Assembly and also to represent us at the Federal, the House of Representatives. We don't want representatives that will go there and be collecting, you know, unconscionable allowances and forgetting the people. Most of you have seen people who went to the House of Rep before and came back and they are still haven't done anything. They, even the money they are collecting, they don't have it anymore. But they don't have any legacy also to present to their children. They cannot say that this is one thing I did. And it, there are some people who used to be commissioners before in this in this state. When they are doing party, they will call MC. Where well, Joe introduce me now? I mean the commissioner tell it, tell it. MC But if you did well, even if you are not. Even if you are sitting at the back, MC, that is the commissioner that gave us good roads. That is the commissioner that gave us uh, schools. And that's what we should uh, be thinking about. I am uh, happy to tell you that I'm an experienced fighter. I've been fighting my entire life for good governance in this country. I've been fighting for democracy. I've been fighting so that this country can become one of the best countries on the continent of Africa. I have been fighting to see that young people in Nigeria, when they graduate, can get jobs. I'll be fighting to see that thieves don't steal everything we have. That's what I did with Sahara Reporter for 12 years. And there's no politician that you can see out there.
will tell you that they don't know that I've not touched them before. And I'm not afraid of anybody because fear is our greatest enemy in this country. You know? We are so fearful in Nigeria that we are even afraid of fear. That's how bad it is. We don't have to continue like that. So I want to thank you for the opportunity on short notice that's given to me to address you. What I will encourage you is that when we come back next time to look proper, we should shake this town to the And uh, for those people who understand the Jile Pam Pam Mundo, you see politicians running up and down. They say, "We are our own election. One fair people. We uh, wake up with one person. We are Katuka. So just no more fair. I want to do as well. Do a cake with a jal bossa. Do a bossa. I'm not telling you about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. Um, let me just give a few minutes for questions and uh, interactions. If you have questions from the House, please. Mr. President is there. You can ask your questions. Let me start from uh, our candidates. Uh, okay. Uh, Akita is all right. Everybody all right. Mr. President, which is we are indeed very proud to have uh, people like you. I, I will fight for you as the son of the soil because you are from Mundo State. Right. We are very proud of you. Your name is about integrity. We are very proud when, when we go out to campaign for elections. The question they do ask for more: Who are the leaders, leaders of the party? I will tell them this. Among your nations. Shogore is a global name. Was, was, was. Shogore we know is a global name. You, you have earned a global reputation. And uh, it's our prayer by uh, May 29, 2019. It's going to be June 12th now. June 12th. Oh, it's June 12th now. 12. Yes. June 12th. Yes. Inshallah, yes. by special grace of God, Travis Wona as a president. Again, on behalf of the candidates here, Thank you and the leadership of uh, our party, AAC, for giving us the platform to run. Yeah. It's another thing to have an uh, intention to run without giving us the platform. Yeah. So this uh, is it, a real opportunity. We want to thank you for this opportunity given to us. I want to promise you that we shall never let you down. Thank we you. shall never let the party down. Amen. You, you said the selling point here that we must stand by our party. Not that probably by tomorrow, if I'm elected, yeah, let me see, the following day I will jump to the yeah, yeah. or jump to that party like what our brother is doing. He's not in our heart here. Yeah. If we go deep into history, yeah. we will know where he comes from. That's right. It is not in our heart here. Come on. I want to assure you I will stand by you, we will stand by the party. Yes. We will work. Yes. But we have some uh, challenges here. Yes. That, that may, uh, because uh, this... This house is large. Probably when we see one of them, we have to make this one. But have, we have some challenges. Uh, we, we were called off quite a few hours. Or few, I won't say it's, it's not, not up to an hour. hour. Yeah, when we were called that we around. Few of us that were around already called you. Yeah, and yeah. we call our people yeah. that we should come on the city. So don't mind us that uh, we are more. If you want to see oh, yeah. 10,000, we, we will see us. Yeah. We are working. Yeah. 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 In, all, in, all, uh, in all the federal consensus, Ondo is different. Yeah. Because of the type of the people that we are presenting for election. Yeah. Otumba Ade, Adeniji. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's a community man. Yeah. And it's a community name. I can assure you, we are going to deliver. Yeah. 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 Once again, I want to thank you for coming. And uh, as I have rightly assured you, that's it. We'll see how it's all good. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you.
one more question. Yes, sir, do you have any? Uh, Mr. President, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, my candidate here has rightly said the majority of this world is in our mind. For me, why we are seeking your help here, sir, for maybe just five or ten minutes to have a meeting with the leaders. Private meeting. Private meeting. Yeah. Private meeting. <laughs> before you go, discussion. Yeah. Thank you. Before yeah. you go, thank you very much. That's not the problem. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that we say is that uh, we in order to go, people are also waiting for us. In uh, Okitumupa, people are waiting for us. As you all know, we are the only political candidate that is campaigning across Nigeria. The others are too tired to campaign. They, have, they also have no ideas to spread. But that's why they go to all these rallies, they wait for five minutes, then they run away. We, we go to markets, we go to schools, we go to churches. Everywhere we can, we can campaign, we campaign. So we will meet five minutes. And uh, like I said, let's start preparing for mother of all rallies in Ondo. Yes. 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 around this city yes. and they will see us and know that yes it's not that uh, we'll hide inside one SUV car and then go to the stadium carry police and then run away and then after the people you saw what happened to Buhari in New York when he started giving speech people were leaving because they couldn't even understand what the man was saying yeah. Nigeria must not continue to be in that condition we are repudiating and rejecting the old ideas that destroyed Nigeria, and we are replacing them with fresh ideas. People that have intellect, you know, uh, and we are not afraid and shameful to say that people that are very stubborn too, because it's our stubbornness in Ondo that is carrying Nigeria to today. It is Ondo indigenous who are stubborn that has brought democracy to Nigeria, the likes of Ghani Power and Yes, fashion, the late fashion. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do the five minutes uh, meeting. Please continue to spread it. And I, I've heard so many good things about the team in Ondo. Uh, Take it back. No, no, no. Uh, on behalf of this team, we want to thank everybody that we called very urgently and you responded to our call. Our main man is not uh, on ground at the time's number before it came to my brain that today's uh, the budget presentation is in Nakure. It's painful, but like he said, we are still coming back. And uh, I've just been told again, February 9, between February 7 to 12, to 12, so what we did here, date yes. that is going to be. But, but, in that, as he said, the, the rally for on those days is a visit to on those days. It's February 1, yes. Yes. February 4th. And uh, the message has been passed, so let us come to push the gospel by the special grace of God. We do not have any doubt that on those town on those kingdom, on those states, will deliver for Africa action on 2016. And on this note, we want to say thank you very much. Uh, we'll be proceeding for the short Don't meeting mean, yeah. after we yeah. should have the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, action! Thank you for no going back! Thank you.